Hi, I'm Bruce Collins, a Senior Director of Product Management at Cambium Networks. What we're hearing from service providers today is they're facing a number of challenges, uh, primarily with uh, introducing higher capacity as the need for uh, data rates that exceed 100 megabits per second have started to come into play. So looking at 500 megabits per second, one gigabit per second symmetrical services, how do you offer that in a solution that you can deploy quickly without having to do things like trench fiber or get right away for fiber? So getting that capacity out there quickly to serve those customers is a big challenge. So six, uh, the 60 gigahertz is, has been around for a long time, and if you go back even 10 years, there's been products out there. But there's a lot of very new, exciting technology that has just emerged with the new chipsets from 802.11ay standards to the new Teragraph certified standard from Facebook Connectivity. And what Cambium has done is taken the best of 802.11ay, the best of the Teragraph standard, layered on top our technology with beam steering and the software capabilities and the management capabilities, and put that all together into a solution that really meets those needs for a gigabit per second to the home. So we're, we're excited about the, uh, the way that this technology has evolved. It's really a, a ability to do distributed networks in a way that was not possible before. So planning networks with 60 gigahertz involves a number of different options, and we have multiple tools that allow you to do that. We start with our, our most basic tool, which is Link Planner. Uh, Link Planner is a tool that you can download from our support site. Um, you can do uh, all of the point-to-point -point planning, point-to-multi-point -point planning, and now the distributed mesh planning with 60 gigahertz. It'll tell you the key things you want to know in a wireless network. It'll tell you the capacity that you're going to get, it will tell you the availability you're going to get, and it'll tell you the range that you're going to get. Those are all the three variables that come into play when you're going to plan a network. We can also layer that with our CN heat capability, which kind of turns that problem on its head and says, not only do I want to connect point A to point B, but I can connect point A to all, what are all those point Bs I could connect to. So that's another option with CN heat. And so then, uh, we certainly encourage you to reach out to Cambium. We have a number of different options to help you plan that network. We are very excited about uh, 60 gigahertz. We're hearing from customers from all over the world as they deploy this product. And they are successfully uh, deploying gigabits per second with resilience. Uh, this distributed capability with, with Teragraph and the CN Wave 60 gigahertz platform lets you deploy multiple gigabits per second with multiple uh, uh, pop nodes and fiber access points that builds a very high capacity gigabit per second network with uh, reliability that they had not seen before in a meshing technology. So we're very excited about that and customers are, uh, are, are deploying these and, and putting these up very quickly where they're deploying multiple radios a day and expanding their networks very quickly across, uh, across the world in all, in all regions of the world. Best place to start is at cambiumnetworks.com if you're looking for more information on the product. Uh, we can uh, provide uh, a number of videos that you can uh, see how other customers, if different peers from around the world, have deployed 60 gigahertz CN Wave. Um, you can go on to learning.cambiumnetworks.com, create an account on there, and there's all kinds of uh, capabilities to learn the product and, and video, short, short 10 minute videos that will get you up to speed, longer uh, deep dive technical information. So lots of information available, and you can always reach out to uh, the community at community.cambionetworks.com. There you can hear about your peers and how they're deploying the network and you can also reach out to uh, folks like me at product management or the engineering and development team and we'll be happy to engage in that conversation.